Man, I wish I have a good gear video idea this week. As you wish. Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Shark and welcome to the best channel for Gear Chronicle fan. And today we will be covering a surprising Gear Chronicle review as a promo for a reprint of the Tri-3 trial deck. So let's get right into it. So the card we got is named Steam Maiden Ripple. She's a great one with 8k power, 10k shield and with one skill, her skill is auto. When this card is discarded during your turn, you can Soul Blast 1, call this card to rear guard circle. During this turn, it gets 5000 power and you can return one normal unit from your drop zone back to the bottom of the deck and if you do you can draw one card so first advantage as you can probably see when you first look at the card is that it get benefit when it's discarded so that's always a good thing since we have next stage chrono jet stereoscope the discarded card or if you run ecrub so it also provides recycling so this means you can return grade 4 unit back into the deck and draw which is a pretty good thing since the only other card that recycled before this card was Pompey Worker. So this kind of helped with that. And also it have multi attack since, you know, uh, it doesn't call it rest, it call it stand. So it gives you an extra attack. It's also a 13k attacker. So it will always hit unless uh, you're playing against Majesty or the opponent get a damage trigger. The disadvantage of it that you might see is that it only skill is when it's discarded. So it's basically a vanilla if it's not been discarded. But I don't think that's too much a problem since all the uh, discarded card in this deck is basically the main engine anyway. So that shouldn't be much of a problem. Another problem it might have is Soul Blast. Since if you're running this alongside Prompty, you're gonna waste a lot more souls since you have this, Smoke Gear, Stereoscope. But I still don't think it's still gonna be much of a problem since you have Nabu. Now let's talk about this card in the context of Chrono Jet, then Chrono Fang, then maybe Mystery Turbo. So Chrono Jet, I think this card will replace Prompty Worker. Uh, it might replace Toot, but I doubt it. I think Toot is just too valuable. I think I'll replace this over Prompty Worker, but I wouldn't run it as four. I think I would run it at three, but I'm not sure. I haven't tested anything yet. I'm just giving you a brief analyze of what I think. For Chrono Fang, I think this might be used, but I'm still debating since I don't think Chrono Fang have, you know, like this card mid-battle. So this might only be useful just because you get a rear guard off and you get a recycler. But I haven't tested Chrono Fang much at all. Uh, the only time I tested it is like in Astro Force. I've been just playing Chrono Jet lately, so I don't really know much. For Mystery Turbo, eh... I don't think it will be run at all. It doesn't bind. It doesn't really help Mystery play that much. So yeah, here's my quick analyze of a brief analyze. The first look at this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. And yeah, I'll make a follow up video next week uh, after testing all this and show you all my progress. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And remember, keep playing. Oh,